but it was, it was nothing, yeah. Did anybody ever say to you anything about, hey, you know, here in Russia, we have some stuff that might help you? Absolutely. Not, no, not, not in that sense, no. You know, I've, I've certainly been in uh, a number of meetings with him. And if you look at the definition of meeting in Russian and in a Russian context, and that you were using the Russian definition of meetings. Did you meet Sergey Kislak in Cleveland? Did you talk to him? I, I'm not going to deny that I talked with him. It, it was, I actually had, uh, it was a, a meeting that, or a dinner that was set up uh, sort of at the last minute, um, and I ended up, you know, now that we're starting to learn the truth, it couldn't get any better for me. He flies to Moscow more often than I do. One Russian spy told another about Paige. When you went to Russia last summer, did you ever talk to any Russian about the Trump campaign or about the Clinton campaign or about the 2016 election in general? No Russian official. I was speaking at a university. During both of his trips to Russia, Paige met Arkady Dvorkovich, who is the deputy to Russia's prime minister. And when you got back from your trip to Russia, which was just academic in nature, you say, what did you tell people on the Trump team about your trip? I just mentioned that there was, in general, from people on the street and the things you would hear in the, in the media, enthusiasm for the possibility of a little bit of a warming in U.S.-Russia relations. And so... But the House Intelligence Committee unearthed an email that Page sent to the campaign after the trip, where he described a private conversation with Dvorkovich, where he expressed strong support for Trump. Were you in email chains with him about Russia? It may have come up from time to time. Again, you know, there's nothing, nothing major, yeah. Well, I mean, nothing major. It was enough for him to lie to federal investigators about and then plead guilty to. Okay. So um, CNN's reporting that you told then Trump campaign advisor and Senator Jeff Sessions that you were going to Russia in July 2016, um, although it wasn't related to your campaign work. Who else in the Trump campaign uh, knew about this trip to Russia other than Jeff Sessions? You know, I, that mention, which was the big headline yesterday, was a brief comment as we were walking towards the elevator after ha having a dinner together. And so it was such a nothing event. And, you know, as, as you correctly noted, I, I mentioned that, you know, I'm heading over there and uh, ha totally unrelated to the campaign. So it was, I actually had, uh, it was a, a meeting that, or a dinner that was set up uh, sort of at the last minute. Um, and I ended up. Senator Franken, I'm not aware of um, any of those activities, campaign, and I didn't have, not have communications with the Russians. It's changing around my schedule because I was just getting ready to go in a couple of days, so I said, it was the only time I've ever met him. We had one dinner together, and I said, Sessions. it was, yeah, it was, it was great, to, uh, great to meet you. I'm glad I was able to meet this in before I head to Moscow. I mean, it's totally in passing. It was and is he, is he the only one on the campaign that knew about the trip? I, I, I mentioned it to a few people. Who else? Uh, you know, it... It'll come out. It, things keep uh, leaking in this uh, from the investment. Well, present the Kremlin. Since his last congressional appearance, two Trump campaign staffers have testified that they told Sessions they were in contact with what they thought were Russian officials, and that's jogged Sessions' memory. But it was it was nothing. Yeah. Did anybody ever say to you anything about, hey, you know, here in Russia we have some stuff that might help you? Absolutely. Not, no, not, not in that sense, no. Not leaking. So you have met with them? I have no comment because they have not talked. They don't talk about, you know, ongoing But you wouldn't say that they've been and very I professional usually, unless... I wouldn't even talk... Well, no, I'm unless just Unless you know of something that they didn't leak. I'm saying they, they're very professional in the sense that they're not leaking all the time, like, you know, 